one of the things about me and you, and we, we do these podcasts, you know, and I'm still learning, you know, I was doing this on the web TV, putting this stuff together, but I'm still learning right now, <clears throat> the legal, the legal side of podcasting. Cause once again, we're talking about new laws being written, mm-hmm. cover our butts when we're podcasting and, and, and a really good situation is, is, um, I get permission from everybody for what I use. I have a legal disclaimer before my show airs. Um, I've beaten, I've beaten some of the biggest uh, companies who have te- flagged my stuff because I have all my legal paperwork and all my stuff. Correct. And a great example of that is the intro to my show. The intro to my show is a beat that Drake has in one of his hit songs. The problem here is, is that the producer was leasing this beat out to people prior to Drake. I was able to have this lease beat prior to Drake having it. So every time my show airs, I get the dreaded legal crap from YouTube and other sites. And um, I have a template and I submit my template and say, here it is. I bought this beat from this producer. Um, I have every rights to this beat for the use that I'm using it for. And Sony has to take it down every time, every time they lose. And I'm like, you know, this is, this is what it's all about. Um, I just recently had to add that the legal disclaimer that the views expressed by someone on our show, um, we can't be held accountable. Um, and this had nothing to do with my show. This had to do with another show that I produce. I produced this person's show. This person had a guest on who came on and that person was spewing all types of misinformation and false facts and blah, blah, blah. And he got the, he got hammered by YouTube. So I said, well, here's what we have to do. We now have to put the disclaimer that's going to come on our show and say that this person's a guest. And if they come on and spew all types of craziness, it's that's their craziness that they're spewing. We don't believe in it. We don't, and they YouTube opened back up his video and allowed him to come back with that disclaimer added. But now I've got it as a template. That disclaimer is on every show that I produce now. Because I don't I don't want that legal action. I don't want that. You know? Isn't it funny we get to do that? Like, you know, even as a podcast, like <laughs> your podcast isn't like real, right? Your podcast is just a name. But you gotta but, say but, this podcast doesn't we, believe in this. So podcasting has become very strong in society. You know, it's, it's come to a point where I, when I was doing it and then they came up with the name podcasting, it was a joke. People laughed at it. You know, I went and covered sporting events because I was invited in to this podcast internet radio thing early, early, early on. I had people laughing at me when I was showing up to events with little devices and was able to record live and broadcast live using Ustream back then. It was Ustream, and I was paying $30 a month to Ustream, a very minute amount of of information, but I was way ahead of the game. And, um, you know, now podcasting is a big threat. It's a big threat to media. Um, It's to the point where commercial radio fears podcasting. Commercial radio has a huge fear of uh, podcasters. You have no idea. I have friends who are in. FM radio and they won't even post on my page or anything. And they're like, it's not you. They, my friends in radio, they love me, but it's not you because the pyramids, the iHearts, all of them, they're all scared of podcasts.